You're making a noton, which is a Japanese cut paper design. And so um, we will be, let's see, um, talking about this um, where we are using lights and darks to create that unity and to create that harmony between those two um, colors. Okay, so lots of people have seen this, right? This is a yin yang sign, so it has. Um, the dark in the light and the light in the dark, right? So it has a balance between um, strong and weak, light and dark, happy, sad, like all those things, okay? So we are going to focus on two different types of lines. We're going to talk about geometric ones, which are straight. They're things from math, right, that have angles. Um, they're more mechanical and then we'll talk about organic ones that are curved and are shapes that are more from like nature, okay? things that you would see outside. Okay, so a couple of things that we'll talk about, um, positive and negative space, okay, when we're cutting things out. We're also gonna talk about color contrast eventually. Um, and we are going to make interesting organic and geometric shapes. Okay, so we are making um, a triple cut noton, which means we are going to have three cuts on each side. And so if you look at this, you can see the axis here. This is where it's flipped. They've cut this piece out and then it's flipped over like a pancake. Okay, flip it over and then it gets lined up right where it came from. Okay, and so you can see the same thing here. These are all single cuts. Okay, now a double cut has another cut in there, so they've cut inside this and flipped. So you can see one, two. These are double cuts down here. And then we have a triple cut, which has three. Okay, so you can see the one, two, three. Everything is cut from that previous shape. Okay, um, so triple cuts down here as well. So these can be things that are symmetrical, um, where they're the same on each side. They could also be things that are asymmetrical, where they are different on each side, but they're still um, balanced, okay? They need to be flipped, they cannot be rotated. And I'll show you what that means. Um, but they can be pretty complicated, okay? And they can be realistic, okay? So if you look at these, um, this is going to be what we're um, eventually working our way up towards is to do something that's realistic, um, but we're going to start very basic today with just um, organic and geometric lines okay, and shapes. Okay, so a couple of rules for making one of these, you cannot cut all the way across the paper, okay, and you cannot cut off the corners of the noton, um, and you should not throw away any pieces. Okay, so you are keeping everything. Um, I have broken this down with some pictures in here um, that's going to show you what you need to do um, to kind of walk you through this. I am going to go ahead and show you right now just in person. Um, and hopefully this, this looks like it's still going. Um, on how we're going to do this and maybe, hopefully this is, I can draw dark enough. We're gonna use a pencil, a pencil can be erased, okay? And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a line in from um, the edge and make some kind of line inside here. So I could make something that was kind of bubbly and organic. Okay, can you see that up there? Yeah. Um, and so it's not symmetrical. I just drew here, but I am able to erase and like change a part if I want to. Um, I could make this different to where maybe I did some type of um, like geometric shape on the inside. Okay, so I'm going to draw three levels to all of these. Okay, so I have one, two, three... I'm going to do the same thing on all of these. Um, and I did not cut my corners off. Do you see that? So 
I still have a section that's left here and a section right here that is not, it's not cut to the corner. Okay, so you've got to make sure that you do that. I'll show you why. Um, so I'm going to make one that kind of goes the opposite this way. And maybe, maybe I want to keep this one the same. So I'm going to just make this one look very similar where the other one was different. Okay, and the same thing here. Let's see what I could do. Um, let's angle over from this one and maybe make something that looks more like a gear, like on that side. And then I really didn't give myself a lot of room here, but I could do something um, maybe that goes up towards this part. And maybe I want to just do something like that. Okay, so I want to make three levels of all of this um, before I go any further. Ooh, what do I want to do with that? This one I'm just going to do the same. Okay, but I'm trying to come up with something that is interesting, an interesting shape. Um, I think I might just go... Like that. Okay, so if you look, I have like 12 lines. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so I have this drawn. Now this is going to need to be centered in the center of this paper. Zoom out. Okay, so I need to make sure um, this is an 8.5 by 8.5. And this is four by four, okay? So what you're gonna need to do is um, draw in two and a quarter inches. Okay, so I'm gonna go in two and a quarter, make a really light hash mark, two and a quarter, okay? So one, two and a quarter. You could move this one over and check if you wanna do that to make sure that it's right but you need to make sure that you have a place that has um, a way to center this. We're gonna eventually um, erase these, okay? But I need to make sure that I know where this is gonna go, okay? So same thing this direction, two and a quarter. And I can see where I'm like off on this side. Two and a quarter. So one, whoops. Okay, so I'm looking for these like corners. Like I'm trying to make sure I know where those are gonna go. So like I'm too far over on this part that I could draw my line over here. All right, like carry that over. And then same thing with this one. Bring that over. Okay, do you see how that's, you can erase anything that's kind of extra. But now I know that this is where this is gonna line up. Does that make sense why I would do that? Right, so I can get it right in the center. This is kind of like a, called a registration. You register like where it goes. Okay, so I have these little boxes or these little edges figured out. Um, now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut my first layer, like just my single one, so the biggest one. So I'm gonna cut those out. Um, this is, kind of intricate, okay? And so I think some people have a harder time doing this. And really what works the best is if you move your paper instead of moving your scissors, okay? You can cut something out more intricate. I don't know if this is something that everybody knows, but it's a lot easier to move your paper, right? And you just keep cutting 
and then you can kind of start back at the back of it and then same thing if you're not right on that line because I'm not perfectly on the shape that I drew it's okay because we'll this is a puzzle piece it just matches back up right so this is the single cut I'm going to do that with all these other ones okay so I'm going to cut the biggest one out of all of them we'll talk about the pencil mark later okay so I have that one Okay, one more. So I'm going to have a really like skinny little piece left, um, kind of like an X because it goes from each corner. And you can even stop and like come and start back at the other side. Okay, so this is what I have. And I'm just going to line all these pieces back up on where they came from. Okay, so this is my shape. I still have my corners, even though this one is barely there. Um, this is going to get glued in this spot. Okay, so you're going to have to line it up with those sections. Okay, if you drew this pretty dark, I would go and like lighten this, okay? So you're probably not gonna be able to see too much up there of where mine is, but I would lighten it so then you can glue this down. And this is also an opportunity, we have all this pencil mark on here. It's almost easier to just flip it over and glue this part down, okay? Because then you don't have to go back and erase any of that pencil, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and glue this down Once you glue this down, it's it's stuck. Um, it's hard to, I mean, you might be able to peel everything off, but you're gonna be able, you're gonna have to make a brand new piece. So not, not fun. You have a little bit of like working time with it um, to get it where you need it to go. So if you need to kind of peel it right at the beginning, then you can. Um, but you don't have a lot of time. Okay, so I've got this piece glued on and now I have all these sections that are gonna need to be glued together. I don't want to cut these all out right now. I'm gonna just cut one layer at a time, okay? And like one piece, so like this one goes here, but since I flipped it, it's actually this direction, okay? And so it's gonna get flipped and it's gonna line up right, right here. Okay, do you see how that works? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut one layer of it. Okay, so I'm gonna keep this together because if I cut all these pieces apart, I'm gonna end up with three, six, nine, 12 pieces. Okay, and it's just gonna be a huge mess as opposed to just three over here and this section here. So this one is cut out and it actually goes this way. So when I flip this one, then it's gonna go this direction. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go ahead and erase the pencil mark that I see because once you glue this it is so hard to get this off um, and then if you get glue on top of the pencil it is like impossible to get it off okay so I have this piece I've taken it from here I know that it matches up I'm gonna flip and put it here 
it's important that you pay attention to what you're doing.